Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. I received this wonderful treat as part of a friend mail from my amazing friend Carla the other day, and I realized I hadn't opened these yet, and I'm really, really excited to, so I thought it would be fun to do it on camera with you guys. I'm not going to do it advent calendar style. I'm just going to open all 12 of them in this video because I have no patience. But as you can see, it is 12 days of socks and you get 12 pairs of kitty cat themed socks, which what could be better than that? So I peeled this little sticky off and it opens up like this and you get 12 little folds as if you were doing like an advent calendar. I guess you could really do it as an advent calendar and just open one every other day. That would be fun for December. I might have to look for one of these for Christmas time next year. I didn't do any type of an advent calendar this year and it's the first year in quite a while that I haven't. I did um, a Lego one once or twice. I can't remember. I did a couple of uh, Zoom Zoom ones when they used to have those available. They don't anymore as far as I know, but I've never done one with socks and I'm really excited. So let's just get into this. Let's start with flap number one. And actually I'm going to, of course, because I may try to save some of these flaps for junk journaling to see if I can just punch them out because they're really cute. Oh, look at this one. Oh gosh, these are so sweet. And I didn't mention it, but it was on the front. These are ladies size 9 to 11, which is perfect for me. I wear an eight and a half shoe usually, but I always buy the 9 to 11 because that's kind of like, I think, standard woman size in socks. So there's a little sticky, as you can kind of see here. They just stick to the box a little bit. So you just got to be careful pulling them out. And there's just a little sticky on there, but that'll come right out, I'm sure. And here they are. Are they attached with like a fastener or is that? Hmm. Yeah, there's like a little plastic there, so I don't want to cut through them. But look at how cute these are. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Okay, I'm going to pause real quick and just shut the door because my husband just got on Xbox with his friend and their player-to-player -player chat, so hold on just a second. Okay, there we go. Now it's nice and quiet. I don't think he realizes how much voices carry in this house. It's not an old, old house. It's, well, I've lived here my whole life pretty much, except for when we were in Florida. So, I mean, it's it's probably about a 50-year-old house. I think my parents lived here most of their marriage. But anywho, so that is sock pair number one. Super, super adorable. And they look like they're ankle socks. Yes, like the little ones, like the no-shows, or like they just peek a little bit out the top. I love them. I love them. I love them. Let's see. Now we'll move on to day two. I've never done one of these, like, opening all the days at once before. I feel like that's so, like, forbidden and, like, ooh, wild and rebellious. Oh, my gosh. Look at how cute these are. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I wish they didn't stick so much, but that's okay. Because, like I said, I'm sure that sticky will come right off. They must know what they're doing if they make them that way. Like I said, just a little sticky right there. But look at the cute cat faces. Oh, my gosh. I love that they're all different colors, too. Because I do have two grays. Um, all three of my cats are tabbies. My oldest, Shamrock, is mostly like a medium gray color. He's got a little bit of darker striping, but not much. It's subtle. My middle cat, Sydney, is an orange tabby. We don't have orange on here per se, but this like peachy one's close enough. It's reading more peach on camera. It looks almost a little bit pinkier in real life. <laughs> This would probably be more of a shamrock color. And then this darker one kind of reminds me more of my Vivi because she's also a gray tabby, but she's got black and white and um, and as well as the gray. And I think maybe a little bit of brown. So anyway, they're just adorable. I love them. And then you've just got like the, the little heel and the... Um, like the cuff area, I guess, yeah, they'll all be like that probably where that coordinates, which is adorable. So I love these too. And I wear these socks all the time, like this style, these ankle socks, even in the winter, not as much in the winter. Like if I'm wearing my sneakers, I will, but if I'm wearing boots, obviously I'll wear a longer sock. Let's see what we get here. This is super cute. Oh, let's get that out. It's kind of tricky, too, because I'm doing it with one hand, and I'm also doing it lefty, which is not my dominant hand, so forgive me that I'm struggling a little bit. This one's not a cat design, per se, but it's super, super cute. It's like almost like a brownish gray, 
and then like this lightish kind of gray color and then the pink accents or like the soft rose accents really really pretty so cute so those are our three so far and I love them all then let's move on over to number four my favorite number I actually really wanted to get married on 4404 but it didn't work out because we wanted to go to Disney for our honeymoon and it turned out that year that April 4th fell during Easter week and it would have cost like twice as much to go to Disney's and I really wanted to be old school and like go on my honeymoon the night of my wedding so we waited till 414 but we still got the four in there and this one's just got the z's for like a little cat nap adorbs and then we've got that pretty rosy color again so so cute these are absolutely adorable i love them so there's our first row of four and then we'll move down to five which there is the z design so that's funny they didn't put the z's in the z design box and then this one is just a pretty stripey pattern. So they're not all cat patterns, which is cool if you're, you know, if you like cats, but you're not like obsessed with cats or you just want like a nice variety. This is an awesome variety. Like I said, I wish this sticky wasn't in there. I'm not quite sure why it needed to be because these were sealed, but it is what it is. I'm sure it'll come off in the wash. But these are really pretty. I love the color patterns on all of these. The color scheme is just beautiful. And again, the little cuffs and the heel match. So that's number five. I don't have to show you each and every time I do that, really. Now, this one like would be one that I would love to junk journal, but I have a feeling I'm going to tear this cat to bits. So far, I have not been opening them very tightly. Eh, we'll see. This is really cute. I like this one. This is probably my second favorite to the cat faces. You get just the cat body silhouettes so 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 sweet adorable and then you've got this is like a lighter pink it's not quite that rosy pink I don't think it looks a little bit there's another one with the rosy pink yeah it's that one's that one's a little bit pinker that one's a little bit more like mauve mauvier mauvier whatever however you would say mauve in that term I guess mauvier but um they're adorable yeah, those are my faves so far. Those are my second faves. And obviously those are my third because I'm super into the cat prints. But I really, really like these stripes too. I like them all, honestly. There's not a loser in the bunch, that's for sure. Okay, let me get number seven. Lucky seven. And lucky seven is just a solid pinky rose color. But then you get... Oh, oh wait. No, it's not. Oh, Wait a minute, so they're not all ankle socks. Ooh, so you get six ankle socks and then six that are like more, like, I guess, longer socks because look inside at the surprise in there, little cat face. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So these are, um, they're not calf length. I don't know what you would say. Now, I don't think these would be calf length, but they're a little bit longer. So these are great because these I could definitely start wearing now with my boots that is so cute i was like oh that's really cute it's just a pink but then you get a surprise inside i love them so they are adorable as well these are what a fun idea thank you so much for thinking of me carla she's just such a wonderful generous kind-hearted person Ooh, and there's nap queen oh my gosh that's me and my daughter actually all of my cats but my my girl cat is definitely like her mama she could just curl up in front of our electric fireplace and snooze like the entire day away which is what she's doing in the other room right now we have one in here as well you can see up there but um yeah we have one in the other room that we call our den it used to be my brother's room years ago before he passed away and before we moved back home long story but um we have one in that room and that's where the cats tend to congregate because that's usually where my husband and i hang out and like watch tv and stuff right now like i said he's playing xbox with his friend and i have a not too long ago acquired reacquired gamecube if you can see it up there so i'm obsessed with animal crossing again i always loved that game and the original gamecube version is my fave so as soon as i'm done shooting this video i will be visiting my towns i have two different towns on memory cards i have new york of course and then i have one called utopia because you know why not be optimistic so i will play with my little friends in animal crossing oh these are really cute look at that little cat i'm just gonna kind of tear up the box because again i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do much salvaging of these and really the ones i like best are the ones with the cat pictures 
like that one I wouldn't use probably because it's got an 11 but if I can cut around there like catnaps and the heart and cut around the little faces those I will definitely salvage for my junk journal because they're just adorable and all the little bits and baubles are really what junk journaling is all about if you were not familiar with junk journaling just check out my I think it's persevering crafts folder because everything's got persevering in it because I'm really creative but you'll see some of my finished junk journals and you can just learn a little bit more about that but that's one of my favorite things to do so that's why I love collecting stickers and anything made of cardboard that I can salvage movie ticket stubs Disney World tickets hotel keys anything relatively flat that you can glue into a book is useful for a junk journal ribbons all kinds of stuff but anyway look at these with the little cat silhouette on there that's just chill and it's got again the the contrasting cuff these okay do they have the yes oh rather than the heel matching on this style you get toesies matching the little cuff that is precious oh my gosh this is amazing look at all these beautiful socks i am so excited i am so excited i can't even tell you this is amazing you are the best, Carla. I've told you this many times before, but I can't say it enough. You are just such a lovely friend and so generous and so thoughtful. Oh, so I kind of tore up the inside, but yeah, that'll be okay. I definitely want to reuse this in my junk journal for sure. And then, which other ones did I want to save? I want to save that cat face. I want to save Nap Queen. I kind of creased it all up because I'm messy. And that one I totally tore up. Oh, well. Okay, we'll save those two. And catnaps, if I can get that out nicely. But then we've got the Sweet Dreams in the pretty gray. And I love that this is just a brown and gray and cream and pink, rosy pink color palette. So, like, they're all mix and match. Like, if you were going away, they're just, like, all nice and neutral and super fun. And you've got this, like, dark gray band on there. And, again, the toesies will match. But that is adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to have to try to pick a top three when I'm through. It's going to be hard though because I really do like them all. Okay. Let's see. If this didn't have the 11 in it, I would definitely save that cat face. And if it was black, I would just color over it with a Sharpie. But I don't think I'm going to be able to salvage that one. That's okay. Ah, So cute. And it says, I heart cat naps and i do i do i do that's adorable oh my gosh these are all just one is cuter than the next i can't even deal so there are 11 guys there's one more to go all right let's dig into cat naps here and see so it's funny so you actually get a lot of you get hints of what a lot of these will be but they don't necessarily not necessarily, though, because, like, there wasn't a polka-dotted one, unless there isn't here. But um, a lot of them, you get the hints. Like, there's the Zs, and you got one with Zs, so. But but not necessarily do they all match the little doors. All right, let's see. And door number 12 contains, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, we may have a new favorite. Oh, we definitely have a new favorite in the longer size socks. Look at that cute baby. Oh, and the little pink nose and the little rosy cheeks. I always tease my orange boy, Sydney, that, um, you know, that I say, like, you know, that he's not necessarily the most masculine cat because he's got pink toes and pink nose. And, you know, I pick on him all the time and he glares at me. So I say, all right, Sid. They're lightish red. Does that make you feel better? Even though boys can like pink just as much as girls can. But he's old school. But look at how cute that cat is. Oh my gosh. I love this. I love this. I love this. What an amazing gift this is. I am so sold. Like I'm definitely going to be buying these for gifts for other people next year. Because what could be more fun than this? And even if you, you know, if you prolonged it, if you actually had like some willpower, although I have willpower, I just, I don't really, I actually put this away and forgot to open them. So it's not like I wasn't chomping at the bit. I just completely, it slipped my mind. But um, if you were to actually do this as an advent calendar and like every other day, you know, starting on the second and that way you would end up with the last one on, you know, Christmas Eve. I just think this would be such a fun thing to do for an adult or a kid. I mean, really, who doesn't 
who doesn't wear socks and who doesn't enjoy fun socks? And if you don't enjoy fun socks, I really don't want to know you. Like even my husband, who's very much a minimalist and very basic and like doesn't buy clothes unless he actually like desperately needs the clothes. Like, oh my gosh, my last pair of pants just ripped. I need to buy new pants. That's how he is. But even he has like Superman socks and some fun socks from Loot Crates and stuff. So yeah, if you can't appreciate fun socks, then yeah, I don't know if I want to, like, know you. <laughs> but anyway. All right. So top three. All right. Well, I definitely have to go with these. These may still be my overall favorites out of every pair just because there's so many different colors of cats. And I feel like it represents all my babies and white kitties as well. So I love that. Number two, I think is now probably going to be this one because I just love the little face on those kitties or, or on, well, yeah, those kitties, technically two socks, two kitties. So I think that'll be number two. And number three is tough. Number three is really tough because I really like this one. I really like this one. I really like this one. I really like the catnaps, too. Uh, I'm going to go with my first instinct, though, and I'm going to stick with the cat silhouette. So we'll say those are probably my top three faves. But honestly, I love each and every one of these. And I am going to have so much fun wearing these. I can't even wait. I'm so excited. I actually, like, am so tempted to, like, change. And I'm OCD. I'm putting them back in the same order. I'm actually tempted to change my socks now. But right now, I'm actually wearing a really cute pair these are like, I don't know if these were meant to be boot socks or like footy socks, as I call them, socks for indoor wear. But my mom got these um, really, really cheap at the store where she works. So Columbia, which is a really good brand of outdoor um, apparel. But if I can shoot my foot, you can kind of see on the side there, there's little skiing penguins. And they're so soft and warm and I love them. And then the design just wraps around. So there's like the end of the flying little scarf as he's swooshing down the slopes. And they're so cozy. And my mom actually found them at her store and they were marked as uh, youth sizes. So I'm like, mom, these are not going to fit us. Like I said, I wear a size eight and a half. She wears an eight. She's like, trust me. We were checking at the store. I'm like, they were all bound. How were you checking? But I guess they were like kind of holding, you know, the actual foot part up to like the sides of their feet, like she and the other ladies that work there and always try to snag the awesome deals. And um, and sure enough, they fit awesome and they're so comfortable. But I cannot wait to wear these. They're going to be so fun. I love that they're the perfect lengths for you know, 24-7, 365, you could wear these any day of the year. You know, you've got the short ankle length ones that are nicer for, you know, the warmer weather. You've got, you know, the longer ones that come up a little bit higher for the cooler weather that you can wear. But they're also, they're not so long that like if you were to wear the ones like these with a pair of shorts, like I don't really, I mean, some people like, you know, calf length or, you know, knee high socks with, you know, with shorts and whatever floats your boat, you know, I don't judge. But um, I'm 46. I feel like I would be a little too old to rock that look. But this height, I think you could really wear these even with a pair of shorts and still have that fun little flare of like something cute on your legs and on your feet. And, um, you know, people would really enjoy them, especially other cat lovers. So anyway, thank you so, so, so much, Carla, for this amazing gift, among all the other wonderful things you sent me. I had so much fun opening this. I hope this unboxing was fun for you guys, too. Um, definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Um, please feel free to subscribe me if you haven't already. Uh, we do all kinds of fun stuff here at Persevering Star, but we also talk about serious stuff too. So it's, it's really a little something for everyone. I always feel like not everyone is going to enjoy every one of my videos, but everyone would enjoy some of my videos because there's such a variety. I touch on so many different things that I feel like I kind of have something for everyone or something for almost everyone. I have such eclectic interests from cats to Sanrio to kawaii to horror movies to, you know, being honest about my struggles with things like health issues and depression and anxiety and mental illness. I, you know, I do videos from certain events in my life, like conventions I go to and fundraising walks. And, you know, I really, I just try to share 
all of me with you guys. So, you know, maybe you don't like all of me, but maybe you would like some of me. So, and maybe you'll find something that's relatable. So to those of you who are here and are subscribers, I really appreciate it so, so much more than you could ever know. To those of you who just stumbled on this video because you saw cat socks in the title and your cat lovers or your sock lovers, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, that's about it. I'm rambling. I do tend to ramble, so be prepared for that. But um, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I love you all so, so much. And I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.